Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. In the last video, we took out the Fulgar Anjanath, possibly up there with Tigrex as my favourite. I didn't know you were here! Oh, well, he's got a little hood on! So, what was I saying? Uh, I need to change his clothes. I know he's, like, looking adorable, but come on. <laughs> I actually have not seen him here once. Poco Gamma, right, anyways. Uh, we took out Fulgar and Janaf up there, it's my favourite creature. Now we're going to head over to Astera and see what's next. They said it's another um, subspecies of some description. So let's go find out. Have a little look. Oh, start time. My bad. 3.06. Three hours in, folks. Three hours in. Ready. So nothing's changed since last video, YouTube people. Uh, no new gear or anything like that I've picked up, basically. Two minutes after the end of the last video, essentially. No idea what we're hunting. I'm excited. I know I'm looking for an Ebony Odogoron. I know that drops the item I want. I've not seen it, but I know it exists. But I assume most of the creatures... I mean, Puke Puke, Palamu, Topikidachi, Legiana, Odogoron, Anjanath... They've all got alternates. I suspect Great Jaguars will be left behind. <laughs> But I think most of the um, creatures from Monster Hunter have subspecies in I spawn. Because that way they can say they've added, you know, 30 new creatures I think they claim they've added. <laughs> Great Jagras does need an Elder Dragon tier variant. I would love that. It's like, right, it's like, it's in the Elder's Recess. Thank the stars you're here. Shush. Did my grandsons? I'll talk, I'll talk to you in a minute, right. Imagine they're in the Elder's Recess, the, the Jaguars have migrated, because they're tired of getting hunted in the ancient forest. So in the Elder's Recess, they're in the, the, in the miasma part, you know, down in the depths. That's not Elder's Recess, is it? That's the other one. They're in the other one. What's it called? The other one, anyway. And they're down there, and they're sleeping, and the miasma seeps into them, and it melds their bodies together. And the boss is like 20 great Jaguars. Stuck together like a transformer, basically. <laughs> Rotten Veil, that's the one. Yes, sir. The chief asked us to come see if we could help. That's what I want. Just saying. I'm thankful. You're just the help that we needed. It wasn't long after you left that we started getting reports of the song being heard all around the new world. Like Power Rangers, you know, where they all group together. Soon after that, previously undiscovered subspecies appeared and wasted no time before starting to run amok. Kind of like the infected in um, Last of Us as well. Commander, I have strong reason to believe that the song is what caused the Legiana to fly across the hinterlands. Also like Captain Planet. Like many things. <laughs> and if monsters start leaving their natural habitats, it's only natural that there are other consequences for the ecosystem. I think this is all tied back to what was written on the cloth. Song and impact on the ecosystem. I do. I do. Ah, uh, yes. I've been told what was written on that cloth. What was written on that cloth? It seems very likely that the Puke Puke and Paolumu subspecies were a precursor to our current troubles as well. Okay. At any rate, I'll be sure to take meticulous notes about where all these monsters have started to become active. Right. I'll leave you to it. Remember, I'm counting on you to help prepare Celiana's defenses. Good luck. Thank you. The Disintegrating Blade, Bad Friends, Great Enemies. Okay, let's have a little look over here and see what these uh, creatures are. Why am I going up here? I don't know. Let's go back down. <laughs> let's, let's undo what we just did. I didn't put my penguins down. Remind me when you do that today. Let's have a little look. Assigned. So, acidic. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Glavinus was unironically one of the hardest fights in the game for me so far. Glavinus may... Hmm. Is Glavinus the hardest fight I've had? I think Glavinus probably brought me closer to death than most of them. It's between Glavinus and Barioff, I would say, gave me the most trouble at the time. Am I ready for a subspecies of Glavinus already? <laughs> I don't know about that. That seems a little risky to me. Uh, I think I think we'll go for the Ebony Odogoron first. In the Coral Highlands, really? Alright. Okay. Now, usually for Odogoron, I would take Miasma, but I obviously don't need that because we're not in the Veil. I do need to go change my gems around because I realised I made a mistake last time. 
It didn't say anything about it, did it? I kind of want to check the quest description again, but... I don't remember it saying anything like a hint as to what it would use. Otogoron wasn't poison or anything, it was just angry. <laughs> it was just fuming at the world, basically. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. That was terrible. Uh, right, so my problem last time was I put these two, the warming jewel in particular, in the vitality mantle. <clears throat> I guess that's fine this time, but I should put in like Vit or something. Let me make sure this is. Hmm. Do I want Destroyer? I think I want Destroyer in my main just because it is kind of like an inherent part of my build, so I'm just gonna put that there. Gobbler, Destroyer, Tenderizer I need to keep, Steadfast is okay, question mark, smiley face. Maybe I've got a Steadfast level 1. Oh, I do. I could actually get rid of stun entirely. I think that's a really good idea. I think I'd get rid of Gobbler for that. Oh, wait, no, defense, obviously. What, what level's my defense boost? 4. Ah, I lose... The 10%, I lose 10 bonus and the elemental resistances, so I'm not getting rid of that because I love that one. I think it's Gobbler. It's only level 1. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that first, dead fast. So I should be stun resistant now. I want one more point in crit eye. Oh, that's what I was going to do, I remember. I was going to talk to the, uh, the Melder, I think. See if she'll make me a crit gem. Let's get some food. Preferably defense up would be great. But not with that little health. Can I, like, customize this to make it actually work for me? Let's have a little look. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which was defense? Okay. No, it's not this one, clearly. It's the fish. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So, oh right, right, so I can't, yeah, okay, I, I think I'm getting how it works. So basically, whichever food happens to have the special, special, flashy, flashy, that's the one that gives you the health boost and stuff like that, right? I guess, and that's why I've got such a small one on here. Okay. Whoa, five standoff, that'd be amazing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I really think the health is worth it. I'm just going to go for this one. Is the health worth it? So you know when you use an ancient potion, or a max potion, and it boosts your health to its maximum. Does that take into account the food, or is that beyond that? Because otherwise this is pointless and I shouldn't have done it. I actually never knew that. Uh, I think I'm good to go. I'm a little apprehensive. Odegoron was, uh, I don't think it, I don't think it killed me last time, but it was pretty spooky. I mean, gems are fine. Can't get stunned, which is pretty cool. Oh, items. No, no, no. I don't have a, um... I don't have a trap. Or, like, half my potions. Oh, thank God I remembered. I mean, I know we can change it again, but still. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't need a hot drink. I mean, the corals. Probably don't need that. I guess. And I'm going to, hmm, let me think, as dangerous as that might sound. I might bring some dung pods. It's, no, it's never really an issue. I, mean, I, know it doesn't, I know it doesn't go beyond food. I'm saying if you t don't eat food, let's say you eat plus 30 health food. Oh, no, right, okay, I see what you're saying now. Okay, got you. Fair enough. Yeah, I think max health must always be the right choice then, yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Raffian, Raflos, Legiana's in that level. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
Ebony or the Goron. <sighs> Gonna be Odo God done by the end of this, buddy. Tell you that much. Boom boom. In the Coral Highlands. I suppose I've seen a Odo God in the Coral Highlands before. It's not that strange. Being affected by that song. Let's rock out. Let's get the mantle ready. There it is. We're going this way. What's that on the map? What's that? Oh, you see, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I don't know how she does that, but it's very impressive. I don't know if this is the right way. I've not picked up any footprints since I came here. But again, I followed the direction of the footprint, right? So the footprint's going this way, so I think I should go this way, right? That makes sense. I feel like the game doesn't always uh, follow the same system. There we go, okay. Keep on wandering along. I'm not apprehensive, I'm not gonna lie. It is yet another small aggressive creature though, <laughs> I wanna point that out. I suppose Anjanaf doesn't really fit that description though, so. There we go. I see three Legionas? That, no, that's not a Legiana, what is that? Is that a Legiana? No, that's a Legiana. And that's a Naga Kuga. Oh no, that was the, uh, the enemies in the area. Okay, yeah, I'm being silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Nagakuga and Lajana, though, down there in general. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Here we go. Hi. You look like a normal order, Goron. Oh, that's why. <laughs> He's fuming. Well, that is a much scarier looking order going right there. <laughs> My god. Very cool, though. I really like these subspecies. They're not lazy as well, which I appreciate. Even if they're like basically recolors, there's always something special about them. Look at that thing. That's a beast. Don't hurt me. focus for a bit guys. <laughs> Especially at the start when I'm just kind of trying to get a hang of the attack patterns and stuff. Oh, what's it doing? Oh wow, okay. It's leaving something on the ground. Ooh. I think I might have been a little lucky there. The tail is a weak spot to say the least. So's the head. A oh, little poison there, aren't you, buddy? Oh yeah, I got a circle in, baby.
it's probably it, yep. Yeah. I don't have my mana on. I suppose it's fine to that. Pop it now, though. Thanks, Lids. Okay, good to know. I think he's enraged. Woo! Okay, cool. <laughs> Calm down. There we go. It's more like it. I don't dare to use anything but triangle for 99% of this fight so far. Are you moving? Okay, I'll pop this. Pop this. <laughs> pop this. <laughs> I'll pop this. I'll pop this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is for YouTube, yes. No cards yet. We've really only just got started on this. That's the first little bit. Da, 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 da. Even when I feel alright about how Monster goes these days, I'm always suddenly apprehensive because I know what it's like. <laughs> like the Anjanath when it went into mad mode, or Rakidios actually would be the prime example. Like it was fine, the fight was pretty easy, and then it just wrecked me. Yes, we got a Tail Raider, nice. <laughs> Maybe not anymore. <laughs> oh, there's Narka. Gonna let you boys uh, do your thing, I think. Yeah, I really like the fight, it's cool. Shemos. It looks great anyway. The, honestly, the subspecies designs in this game are amazing. Nice! Get him! Get him, Naga! Get him! Naka, I guess. Good lad. Good lad. Get him! I'm pretty sure that's more damage than I've done in this entire fight. Oh, they're still going. I'm gonna go hide here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone, I didn't realise. God damn it. Oh, overweight. Whoops. Let's get out of here, shall we? Anja. Yeah, the Anja is my favourite subspecies so far. It was spooky, man. Oh, I'm shattered. Is this a bad idea? Let's find out. That was a bad idea. I've got to say, if I can get weak points on this guy, it's a big deal because. He's so small. 
they can hit them constantly. I realized I didn't hit it at all during that, but I did do a lot of damage, so that's okay. <laughs> no, no, no! Ooh, not what I wanted to do. Bloody Nora. That didn't work. <sighs> I went for the head. I went for the head. I should have just. I never. I never think to do it. I never think to do the. Uh, the, the wall run. Ever. It just doesn't pop up into my brain, you know? I think it's twice now I would have been stunned. I've been protected. But now I can bosh him in the head. Or not bosh him in the head, as the case may be. Bosh in the head. Bosh in the head. Bosh in the head. <laughs> bosh in the head. Bosh in the head! <laughs> you running? Yeah, okay. Keep on it. Nothing else to do. Just keep on going. I'll tell you what. You can be right, buddy. Onwards, my mighty steed. Totally pointless, but it's fun. Well done, my mighty steed. What happened there was Odegaard was so impressed with my mighty steed riding. Oh, nice. That he decided to uh, let me hit him. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> He's less impressed with my mighty steep. Oh! Whew, could have died there. around now. <laughs> Only explanation, of course. No, Shamos! He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Let's try to get this mantle off. The problem is my nose is itchy. I think I can risk going for that. Oh no! Oh no! No, the sleepy thing! Wait, did it get him as well? It got him as well. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna have a little nap here. Liddy, wake me up, I can beat him up. Come on, Liddy, get me. Liddy. Okay, I'm up. Nice. I'm sure short sword is a great idea in this fight, if I'm honest. It's really slow. I don't know if that's what you want for a fight against such a quick enemy. I think I can make it work. That was bad. Oh, come on. No, no. Screw the sword. It's a terrible idea. 
Is that thing up? Yep, yeah, still there. Hmm, I'm sure that was enough though. Oh yeah, now you free meal. <laughs> That peak performance thing annoys the hell out of me. I don't need to know every two seconds. I know it's worn off. I took damage, that's how it works. Okay. Ooh, nice. I'm actually going to sharpen as well. Shock twist. Oh, we pop. I'm not coming. Me about half an hour. Didn't work. <laughs> I'm an optimist, what can I say? <laughs> I knew it was optimistic. <laughs> At least. I'm going to try not to feel that. Oh my god. I was about to say, hey, I got a third hit in for once. <laughs> it was fool's talk. Foolish, foolish talk. I know you're an angry doggo. You ever not pissed off, seriously. Chill for a bit. Something behind me. <laughs> Remind me to do the camera thing so that it doesn't um, shift the camera over to my talk like the monsters and stuff like that. Like, it didn't do it there, but I don't want to ever go through that again, so I need to turn that option off. It's dramatic as anything, that. Not going to go quite to the top. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about what's going on here. Are they done? Nope, nope, clearly not. Oh, where are we to have out of it? Oh! I think not. Oh! Oh! <laughs> There's a shift over here, I think. One of them will give up in a second. I think it looks like it's going to be Naga. No, nope, they're both gone. <laughs> Slightly optimistic. Oh, I don't know if I like this as an arena. Oh, I definitely don't like this as an arena. No, oh, no, 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 no. Hard pass, hard pass on this. Oh, Nog's back. <laughs> this is a goddamn mess. I mean, I'm gonna let them do their thing. As much as possible. Why are you in- Ow! Ow!
Look behind you! I am not your top priority or problem right now, Narka. Get your get your priorities straight, you nerd. Bloody Nora. Oh, nice! I don't think I'd love that, huh? Nark is still here. Come on, buddy. There we go, there we go. Get it in there. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. No, the frog! The frog! The frog! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Okay. This is. Let's build up that sword. There we go, that's what we wanted. No, you cheeky little blighter, come here. No, I can't get in that, that's way too optimistic on my part. If he wasn't enraged then maybe. Not having a customary faint yet, so I'm <laughs> waiting for that to happen as well. Yeah, I'm going for the tail a little bit. Tail of the head, and I figure the tail's a better shot. You're not going to cut his head off, are you? <laughs> Although, <laughs> I just need to stick in Parax mode a little bit more for it, really. But then I want to, I want to pop the poison as well because that's fun. So. That never works. I've got to stop trying this. Oh, screw it. That's fine. Are you fine? It's... Oh boy, that was not fine at all. Don't need to change things up. It's working. No reason to get fancy, you know? Less. Oh, come on. <laughs> I 
Oh! There it goes, baby! First tail I've caught off in ages. What difference does it make with Odegoran though? It doesn't really seem to use his tail for anything. <laughs> if anything, it makes him slightly harder to hit. <laughs> I know I get the materials, but <laughs> loot is loot. Fair point. I suppose it makes that slightly less effective. It doesn't seem to, but it should, in theory. And it looks cool. Whoa! Okay, big boy move. Oh no, no, is this my customary fate? No, come on. I know I should ancient potion here, but I'm gonna believe. Ready? Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. You're a hero. <sighs> right, let's go carve that tail. Loot is loot. Cool. It'd be nice to do this without fainting, because you do get extra stuff for... I mean, you get less rewards after you faint, right? So, I feel like I fainted once on every single fight. I've never fainted twice, but I fainted once on every single fight, so... It'd be a nice change of pace. Look how the sharpening, I can't get over it. It blows my mind every time I see it, honestly. Uh, well, that's a Legiana. Have fun, you two. Get a little bit closer. I went away. <laughs> Legiana, why? There we go. I just needed to activate the turf ball. I would bet on Legiana for this. Just, what's an Odegorum gonna do if it just stays in the end and ice attacks? There you go. Hey, Shamas! Oh, damn! No customary feint today, boys and girls! Oh, nice. Any more? Yeah, a little bit there. I know I'm missing earlier, but hey-ho. Oh, is it less money? Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh, has he jumped off? Yeah. <clears throat> Down we go. He's a sleepy boy. That's how it's done, folks. No faint this time <laughs> for the first time. Successfully hunted. Amazing work. In such a long time. <laughs> What's that? There it is. Go. Get a little bit. Maybe. Yeah.
Come on, good gem. Oh, it's three. Um, yeah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't hate your plug. Hmm, okay. Nice. Noise. Noise. What's that from? I know it's British, but beyond that, I've got no idea. I mean, the guy, like, clicks his tongue and then goes, Noise. He's eating chips all the time. Turn the auto target off. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> auto target off. You're a demonic ability. That must be stricken for my life. So one down. I'm, I was I was more worried because I, I remember last time I played normal Moss Hunter, and I got to Odegoron, and people told me I was going to get wrecked. And it is one of those fights that, generally speaking, I do pretty well on for some reason. Same with that one. That's the first time I haven't fainted in ages, right? There's something about Odegoron that I um, can handle really well. <laughs> Glavinous, however, <laughs> I am <laughs> much, much less confident on, to say the least. Oh, was it a stock video? No, it wasn't a stock video. Marco Rosen, that's the one. Uh, where's this option I'm looking for? There we go. Yeah, no. <laughs> Off. Whew. I just don't, I don't really, yeah, I don't know. This, I, I don't really have a problem with. Oddly enough, I think I should be better at the big slow boys, but that doesn't tend to be how it is for me. It's usually uh, the, the little ones that I do better on. I don't know. Glavinus kicked my ass last time. Glavinus was probably the hardest fight I've had, so <laughs> Glavinus subspecies is not filling me with confidence. To say the least. I didn't get one, did I? No. Right, uh, let's have a look at the armor. Or to go around and master rank stuff, where are we? Death at Garon. Of course it's bloody. <laughs> oh no, that's sweet though. I like that. What's protective polish? What a go essence. Weapon sharpness does not decrease for a set time. Latent power. While active. What's the condition for it though? What's the condition? <laughs> it doesn't say what the condition is. <laughs> hmm. What else have we got here? Latent power with tool specialist is okay. Dragon resistance. Ugh. Crit eye though. Four three points in crit eye. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> that's sexy. I like that a lot. Uh, power prolonger really good as well. But then dragon attack. Why do you have to be like that? Why can't you be cool? Oh. Set could have been awesome, but. Between tool specialist and dragon attack, I think it's got a lot of wasted skill points. I'm still tempted a little bit by... Which one was it? Which one did I like? Was it Shrieking? I do like that. I don't like much else though. I do like that one as well actually. Crit draw 2. Eh. I'm pretty happy with the armor I've got already. Blade armor? Eh? No. Oh. <laughs> one day. <laughs> It was sexy. Eh. Of course I beat it. Didn't even faint once. Not even once. Oh, right, let's see what Liddy's armor looks like. No, Liddy's the name I've been using for like nine years now. It's crazy. Gajalaka. <gasps> it's a new Gajalaka set. It's even better. It's incredible. It's everything I wanted to be and more. Already saw that one. I mean, that's just beautiful, honestly. Where's the Autocorrent set then? Maybe there isn't one. Oh, is that? Well, it's gonna look like the last one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Why is this one organized by the way by rarity completely all the way to the bottom, and my own set? Isn't. <laughs> grumble, grumble. 
Okay, so that was good. Next fight, Acidic Glavinus. Uh, if you've been joining me on YouTube then, I'm going to end it there. I'm probably going to do a little farming now, try to get those bones I need for the next level weapon before I take on Glavinus, because Glavinus makes me nervous. Um, there was an offer already to go and farm this earlier, and I resisted because I don't want to outgear the content. I'm only getting stuff that I could feasibly get already, if that makes sense. You know, this is something I can get now. I don't have to do content that's ahead of myself or anything like that, so I feel okay doing a little farming to get that stuff. So, so, thank you so much for joining me, YouTubers, YouTube humans, and I will see you tomorrow for the Disintegrating Blade, when I inevitably get my ass kicked repeatedly by Acidic Lavinus. Thanks for joining me, cheers, as always, bye-bye.